Then I met his friend and I say, uh, where is Peter? And he said, oh, you didn't know? He said, he's in Austria. In the meantime, a few days later, I got his postcard. But I said, And we started climbing the mountains, and my sister started to get tired. Behind us, somebody make a noise with a machine gun, stop or I shoot. I had him not tell his mother that we were looking at rings, because I knew she wasn't going to let her boy go. <laughs> and we had gone together for three and a half years before we were engaged, and his mother said, what's all the rush? And then we told my mother and father, they said, get out the bar, let's have a drink. <laughs> <laughs> Two different reactions. <laughs> we were flying a mission, and uh, all of a sudden we saw something whiz by. <whistles> what in the world was that? And we decided it didn't have a propeller on it. We had never seen a jet aircraft before. So we thought if they had gotten that plane into production a year sooner, then it might have been a completely different story because we couldn't have stood up to that kind of a fighter. Christmas uh, gives us a chance to realize all the good things we have. My best friend, my lover, my uh, lucky uh, I am. It's hard to believe 56 years have gone by. She didn't speak a word of English. We didn't speak a word of Italian. And we hadn't met this woman before. My father brought her home one day and said, this is your new mother. And right about that time, we had uh, uh, come around and we were on a broad reach and looked up to the west. And you could see just an angry, angry lip of a squall line coming across. And uh, Rufford capsized. This was cold water. This was in May. Jack's kind of a quiet man, but there is a strength in him that Jack finally reached out and touched Rufford on the forearm and said, Rufford, get dried off and go home. <laughs> and Rufford kind of stiffened almost to attention and said, you're right, and marched off to his car to get his dry clothes. <laughs> there was more colorful language than that. <laughs> <laughs> you put that string and the gum down there and kind of fish around with it. Pretty soon you'd feel a kind of a bite on it. And we'd bring the, bring the string up slowly and sure enough, there'd be a tarantula on the end of that gum. And <laughs> We'd uh, take it and, and put it in a, a, what we call a mason jar, glass jar, put the lid on it, and pretty soon we'd have two or three of those tarantulas, and we'd put them in that jar and let them fight. Moving in the house was tough because there's a lot to do when you move into a new house. Plus the fact I was a dirt farmer at heart. We, we ran quite a farm for a number of years, and it was fun. Do I remember my first kiss? Oh my God, yes, I do. <laughs> we got to the bridge. He wanted to kiss me. I was fighting. I was so I, I didn't want to have a kiss. I didn't want a kiss from that guy. <laughs> and he was fighting me and holding my hand so tight. I was all uh, red and black and blue. And I was fighting. And finally, he won. He gave me a kiss. <laughs> and I pulled out a Bang! <laughs> I hit him. My grandfather was born in Poland, but my grandmother was born just in, all off into the Prussian-German area that they changed the border after every war, you know, it went back and forth. We didn't know that uh, she had a little knowledge of, uh, of German until uh, one day uh, an insurance agent uh, said something to her, uh, 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 a curse in, in German, and so she cursed back at him. And then we found out that she understood quite a bit of German. She was a beautiful lady, a good, good mother, and raised a lot of kids. <laughs> she had nine children and uh, six that I knew personally. The three I didn't know, uh, unfortunate things happened to them. 
the, the thing I got the greatest amount of good feeling about, certainly by the time I retired, was the uh, respect and admiration that I received from the people that worked for me. That's rewarding, you know, it's, it's from here. Probably running out of either belly or uh, space on his shirt or something, but we'll take care of that somehow. But I'm so pleased that I have 14 little kids that came out of our marriage. <laughs> Boy, what a blessing. And they are truly a blessing from God. It's a gift from God that you get all of these descendants because you didn't strangle your, ch your teenagers. <laughs> For my sixth birthday, my mother gave me a pair of roller skates. And she looked at me and she said, I want you to go out and enjoy these skates. And I want you to play all the sports that you wish to. And she said, because I was never allowed to. So I never got that speech. And uh, whenever I was maybe biting off more than I could chew, I would think of my mother saying, I want you to try everything. So I think I did. <laughs>